Welcome to the Reddit Chronicles. Today we will be reading from Best of Redditor Updates. Our first post is by Tafornoweg. Am I the jerk because I, 38F, don't want to take my stepson, 9, on vacation? My husband, 39, and I have been married for 5 years. We have two children of our own, both girls, aged 5 and 2. I also have a son, 10, from a previous marriage, but I was widowed. My husband's ex is barely involved in stepson's life at all. They got divorced when stepson was two, and his ex wanted a fresh start, so my husband did the decent selfless thing and had complete custody of their son, even though he'd wanted shared custody. I got a bonus at work, and I really want to go on vacation with just my family just once. We've been on family vacations all together lots of times, but just once, I want to spend my money going on vacation where I'm not looking after someone else's kid. I want stepson to stay with his mom while we go on vacation. My husband sees my point of view and is okay with it. I don't think I'm being at all unreasonable. My mom found out what I was planning and says I'm being a complete jerk. These are the reasons she says I could be the jerk. 1. My mom says that if stepson's mom isn't properly involved in his life, I should be even more involved in his life to compensate. I think this is a completely unfair expectation. 2. She also says that I'm being a hypocrite taking my son, but I think that's totally different because my son doesn't have another parent. I'm all he's got. If stepson's mom won't take him just for once then obviously he'll come on vacation with us. But I don't think I'm the jerk to ask if I can have a vacation with my own family just one time. It's not like I hate stepson or something, he's a nice kid, he's just not mine. Am I the jerk? Update. We definitely won't be going on vacation without stepson. After a couple hours of replies, I decided to show this to my husband. We sat down and had a really long talk about it. He told me he's never been comfortable with my attitude to stepson, but didn't know how to say to me before. I don't want to be a bad person, I just never thought of stepchildren being yours. I don't think it would be easy for anyone to accept this level of criticism, but all your replies have shown me I have a lot of work to do. As many of you suggested, and so did my husband, I intend to see a therapist to help me with that. As I said, I don't hate stepson in any way, I have never been deliberately cruel to him, I've just always thought of him as my husband's child. But I realize my mindset needs to change. So I'm going to start working on that. I want my family to be the best it can be, and I need to accept that it includes my stepson. I understand that now, and I'm going to start seeing a therapist to become a better person. We've also talked about maybe having family therapy too. I've also made up with my mom, and she is 100% behind the changes I want to make in my life. It wasn't easy to hear everything you said, but I understand that I needed to hear it. Our next post is by Dress of My Dreams. Am I the jerk for kicking my sister-in-law out of my bridal party for posting a picture of me in my wedding dress? I, 27F, got engaged to my fiancé, 34M, right before COVID, and due to the pandemic have experienced delay after delay. But finally we have begun planning and are aiming at a mid-May 24th wedding. My mother asked me if I could include my sister-in-law in my bridal party because after marrying my brother moved several states away and has expressed feeling isolated without family around. I could understand, so I agreed. But my sister-in-law has been nothing short of a nightmare. My bridesmaid all assisted in handwriting and sending out our wedding invitations, but the ones my sister-in-law helped with all had zero invitation inside and instead was an empty envelope. I know they were hers because everyone had different shades of pink envelopes to go from. She also took the longest at our makeup and hair consultations, even extending her appointment an hour, to which I was charged. I am covering her expenses as she is a stay-at-home mom and I know things are tight right now because she could not agree with the stylist on what makeup she wanted. But the final straw came when I found the dress of my dreams. Only problem was, I was 15 pounds too heavy for it, and I bawled my eyes out because I knew this was the dress for me. Everyone was encouraging, and I still had plenty of time to lose 15 pounds and come back for fitting etc., so I agreed and said yes to the dress. When I got home that night, I noticed on my sister-in-law's Instagram 
that she has posted a picture to her Instagram of me in the dress ugly crying and I was absolutely livid. My fiancé has already seen the Instagram picture and I am devastated. He was not supposed to see me in the dress until our wedding day and I know so many more people have seen it. I could not help myself, I called her and exploded adding that she was not going to be in my bridal party and that she has ruined my wedding. My mother has called me and told me that even though she understands I lacked compassion and have severely hurt my sister-in-law's feelings, she asked if I could find it in my heart to forgive, but I told her even if I did that I still would not include her in my party. Am I the jerk? Update 1. My brother reached out to me to apologize on my sister-in-law's behalf. He stated that she posted it, thinking the app had the feature to where she could post privately. I have never seen this on Instagram or knew it was possible, but when I asked why the picture was taken in the first place, he said she just wanted to capture the start of my fitting into the dress journey. I told my brother she was not getting back into my bridal party, which he understood, but when I mentioned she could not attend my wedding, he stated if that were the case, he could not come either. Update 2. My brother and sister-in-law did not have a wedding. At the time they were in their third year of college and only married at the courthouse over a summer break. I admit that I do not have a very close relationship with her, I work longer hours and often am tired after so go straight home to relax especially these last few years. Any time we have been together we are cordial but there is no real relationship between us. Update 3. Thank you everyone for the positivity and for reaffirming that I was not overreacting. I am no longer having my sister-in-law in my bridal party. For further update, my brother called me and wanted to have lunch with my mother and sister-in-law. My fiancé demanded to go too so we drove to have lunch with them. It was awkward at first because no one was speaking, but then my brother spoke up reiterating to me that my sister-in-law was sorry for posting the picture to Instagram and was hoping we could all move on from this. When my fiancé heard this, he asked why my sister-in-law was not apologizing to me directly. It became very tense, and my brother and fiancé started exchanging pointed words. He referenced my sister-in-law, feeling very distraught since a few of my bridesmaids had seen the photo and personally attacked her on Instagram, and even my mom got involved to try and break the rising tension. My fiancé pointed out that my sister-in-law had yet to directly apologize to me, and that if she didn't, he did not want her at the wedding at all, and he didn't care if my brother was absent or not. When my mom said we are family and shouldn't act this way toward each other, my fiancé once again insisted that she give me a face-to-face -face apology. My sister-in-law was very standoffish toward him, but eventually she apologized to me for what happened. She only said, I'm sorry for what happened. I felt this was enough, but my fiancé demanded she clarified what happened, take responsibility for it, and apologize the same way my brother did, to which it became an argument over whether or not the apology was good enough. I felt the conversation went nowhere and became redundant and petty, and we ended lunch with what felt like no resolution. I talked to my fiancé in the car that I was okay with her apology, but he disagrees. He said for the sake of peace, I was willing to accept less than I deserve. I really thought that planning a wedding was going to be stressful but happy, if that makes sense. But this whole ordeal has completely exhausted me, but turned me off to any further planning. Last update. Added nearly three days after original post, my sister-in-law finally said that she absolutely hates me, and it all stems from me ceasing to further loan my brother money after he borrowed 42k from me over a 2.5 year time frame with no payment to me whatsoever. For context, I am in tech and my fiancé is in solar, so we live fairly comfortably. My sister-in-law is a stay-at-home mom and my brother works at a warehouse. His job alone was sometimes not enough to cover expenses and he would often come to me to borrow money which I didn't mind. But when COVID hit, it became a regular occurrence for me and my mom to be loaning out money to him. I don't know how much my mother loaned him. Well, after my brother got a steady job with a steady income, I decided to no longer provide him any additional money until he paid down some of his debt to me.
My sister-in-law described my decision as a slap in the face to my brother and one that made them feel like beggars rather than family. I cannot believe this is the reason she does not like me. When I told my brother I could no longer loan him money, he never expressed an anger at my decision, it felt like he understood. What solidified my decision to not include her in my wedding at all was when she said she could see where the money was going and referenced my weight. I told her she has no respect for me and feels entitled when she has no right to be. I told her that I hoped it didn't affect my relationship with my niece-nephew, but that I did not want to be around her if all she does is spew hatred toward me. I wished she had been honest before I asked her to be my bridesmaid, rather than deciding to put me through hell. I've been trying to call my brother and tell him what she said but he is not picking up, and neither is my mom. My brother was my mom's miracle baby, and because of this she has always doted on him. But ever since my sister-in-law came, it has gotten worse, she has given my mom what I will never be able to, and that is grandkids. Because of this, my mom and sister-in-law have grown very close and are able to bond in ways that my mom and I can't. This may be why my mother is so hasty to defend her. Thank you for listening to the Reddit Chronicles. Follow for more content.